The Cow Loves Cookies by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Marcellus Hall. Whenever farmer feeds the horse, he feeds the horse's hay, of course. The horses just love to nibble hay. He eats it every single day. But the cow loves cookies. Farmer knows what chickens need. He always gives them chicken feed. They scratch and cluck and peck all day. They love their feed. The horse loves hay. But the cow loves cookies. The farmer feeds the geese each morn. He always gives them sweet cracked corn. They honk for joy and flap their wings. They love the corn that farmer brings. Hay for horses, yes indeed. Give those chickens chicken feed. Corn for geese, they love it so. But when it comes to cows, we know that the cow loves cookies. When farmer feeds the hogs their slop, they love to eat that gooey glop. They oink and snort, they grunt with glee. They eat like pigs, it seems to me. Of course we know the horse loves hay. The chickens love their feed each day. Geese love corn, as all geese should. The pigs think slop is mighty good. But cow would never eat that stuff. You couldn't pay the cow enough. Because the cow loves cookies. Farmer's dog just loves to eat. When farmer gives him doggy treats, he gulps and gobbles with delight. He savors every meaty bite. Hay is what the horsey needs. The chickens all eat chicken feed. The geese munch corn, it tastes so fine. The hogs think slop is just divine. The dog adores his doggy treats, but cow would rather eat things sweet. So why does the cow love cookies? She and farmer made a deal, and every day they share a meal. Farmer packs a picnic lunch, and when the two sit down to munch, He takes cookies from a tin, and cow gives milk to dunk them in. Yum, says farmer. Cow says moo. Cow is happy. Farmer, too. They both love milk and cookies. But the duck loves quackers. Thank you for reading with me. Now we have craft. For this craft, you will need to print out the image linked in the description. Print the image twice, flipping it the second time so that you have a mirrored image. You can also try drawing your own version of the pieces you see here. Have scissors and glue ready too. Now glue the blank sides of both papers together. Make sure they're lined up well. Cut the pieces out. along the 
the dotted lines too. Now slip the cow's body into the slits you just cut on the legs, where the dotted lines were. Now that the cow is 3D, you should be able to stand up on its legs. Why not make it a cookie too, like in the book? Thank you for joining me for story time. I hope you had fun. We'd love to see what you made, so look in the description to find out how to share. See you next week. Bye!